Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us for our week of prayer and fasting. And uh, man, it really is a joy to get to spend each day with you as we look through uh, man, some different themes that we're going to be praying over. Uh, we're going to be spending time together, opening God's Word together and uh, prompting questions for man, what, what's God doing, what's He saying, and what's He calling us to. And so we're really glad that you're joining us uh, either, the, either in the morning at 7 uh, before you get up and get to work and your day gets busy, or if you're taking some time in the middle of the day um, to join us, maybe at your lunch break. Uh, we're really glad that you're here. And my name is Matt, and I get to serve as one of our pastors here at Battle Creek Church. And this is Pastor Lucas, who's our Jinx campus pastor, a uh, dear friend, love him very much. And uh, man, today we're really going to just spend some time talking about this idea of what's it really look like to follow. Um, I know like we're both dads of daughters, uh, and I know there's been plenty of times in my life when they've not followed my instructions or my directions. And, uh, you know, when I, I, I laugh about that, I think about how many times have I not followed uh, what God has asked me to do, uh, either out of fear or stubbornness or whatever else. And so um, I, th I have a feeling we could probably talk a lot about, you know, this concept of following, not only as good dads who love their kids and want their kids to follow, you know, some of our instructions, but also like, man, for us, oftentimes, we don't really follow what God's asking us to do. We don't really follow Him. And so I know God's given you some words to share with us today. So I'd love for you to, uh, man, to, to really share what God's put on your heart today. You bet. Yeah. You know, as we think about this whole concept of, of following today, church, that is exactly what I believe God is calling us to this week, that we would truly follow after His heart as we get ready to go all in over these next couple of years as a part of Battle Creek Church. There's a verse I love in Psalm 63 starting in verse 8, and it comes out of a uh, version that I don't necessarily read a lot, but I love the way that, that this is uh, verbalized for us and just some of the words that the writer uses here in the King James Version. Um, and it says this, it says, My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand it upholdeth me. And, and man, what a beautiful picture of what God is calling us to this week, church, that we would not just casually follow after him, but that we would, as the psalmist says, follow hard after him. God, and it's a beautiful picture because God put this impulse within inside of us when we were born. There's this word that, that I began learning over these past couple of weeks called preeminent grace. And this word begins to, to, to define for us that, that this impulse, that this desire that's within inside of us to follow after God was something that he put within us in the first place. And so the question begins to beg for us today is how are we letting that play out in our life. Are we truly following after the things of God or are we following after the things of this world? And we can casually kind of fall into this trap, right? Of just following after the things that we desire, we want and, and the things that seem easy, but God's calling us to follow hard after him. And there's another passage in scripture, again, in the book of Psalms that I love in chapter 42, um, starting in verses one through two. It says, as a deer pants uh, for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul, it thirsts for God, for the living God. Mm -hmm. And man, what a beautiful oh, picture, right, of what we're going to be going through uh, this week. That, that our soul, it has to thirst for the presence of the living God. That we have to have this hunger with inside of us, right? And, and we may just be on day one, right? So we're probably not dying right now of hunger, although some of us may be, right? Like, I missed breakfast this morning, and so it was, it was a little bit tough, but... but <laughs> or your seven protein shakes. Or like. seven protein shakes, 20 <laughs> eggs, whatever you want to call it. But, but man, that is our heart and our soul's craving this week, that we would thirst after and that we would hunger after the presence of God, and that doing, in doing so, we would understand at a whole new level what it means to truly uh, follow after God, because I think this is... Uh, the danger for a lot of us. We can fall into this place of, of complacency when it comes to our spiritual appetite, right? That, that we can be satisfied with being saved, but not have this desire to push further and to truly follow after his presence. There's a word that, there's a phrase that I learned this past week off of a video I was watching. It says, trust the process, don't rush the process. Mm -hmm. Trust the process, don't right. rush the process. And, and man, we live in a world where it's dangerous, right? Because we have this instant gratification all the time that we can ask for something and order it and we can get it within like maybe minutes or a couple of days and I mean everything just comes so quick. But when it comes to our pursuit of God 
and entering into the presence of the Lord and allowing Him to speak His truth into our lives, it, it's something that requires patience on our part, right? And it's a diligence on our part, and, and it's these habits that we're forming in, in which we are continually entering into the, pre the presence of God and, and fighting this complacency that can form in our lives. And so when it comes down to it, church, it's simply this. This week, would you just simply just strip this whole thing down? Would you fight the desire to have this religious showmanship in which you're trying to impress other people? And would you simply this week just enter into the presence of your Heavenly Father that so lovingly, deeply desires to spend time with you this week? And would you just lean in as God begins prompting your heart and your spirit? And would you follow Him? Would you follow hard after Him, as the psalmist says, in a way that maybe you've never done before? You know, our theme verse for this week is, is found in Matthew 22, yeah. 37 through 39. It says, You must love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your mind. For this is the first and greatest commandment. A second is equally important, love your neighbor as yourself. And what a beautiful picture of what God is calling us to as a church, that we would be all in, that we would follow God with everything that we have. Yeah. And with everything that we would have, we would pursue and follow him. Yeah. And so church today, we want to take some time and we want to pray together. And Matt and I would like to spend this next couple of minutes just leading you in some prayer as you reflect and just begin to get ready to follow God, maybe this week in a way that you've never really followed him before and that we would follow hard after him. Yeah, Lucas, that's so good, man. And I appreciate um I mean, so much of what you said, I, I, I wish I had my notebook here to write down what you said. Luckily, I can get your notes. But when I think through uh, like this concept of following, like you've said, like follow hard after the Lord. Um, for some of you, this, this week is the first time you have ever followed through and say, hey, I'm, I'm actually going to fast. Uh, I, I'll, I'll never forget the first time I said, OK, I'm, I'm going to do this. This is completely bizarre to me to abstain from food. For a week. I've never done it. And so there's no doubt that there are some of you who are doing it this week that this is the first time that this has happened. And so don't follow your gut. Your gut's going to say, feed me. Like it's going to say, hey, like give up. Don't, don't keep doing this. It's not, this, this isn't doing anything in you. But if you will follow through with this, if you'll, if you'll just say, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to take it. I'm going to skip breakfast. Yeah. And I made that decision. And I didn't just skip breakfast to get hungry. I skipped breakfast so that I can spend more time focusing on the Lord. And what he's saying, like, God, what's it look like to follow you sure. today? What's it look like to follow you this next week? Uh, and then make it to the next step of, of lunch and dinner. And uh, it, all of that leads up to uh, the culmination on Wednesday night, you know, at our advanced commitment night, which is at the Union Performing Arts Center. And so... Um, I just want to tell you, like, you can do this, and um, don't give up. Continue to follow, like, what the Lord is doing, not what your stomach may tell you. Right. And so we want to spend a, a few minutes praying together. And, um, I mean, I think there's a couple of questions that I'd love for us to ponder mm -hmm. um, as, as we pray. And, and I think the first question is just asking God, like, God, what, what does it look like to follow you through this journey of all in? Um, and so I wanted us to take a few minutes together and just be still. Um, and we're going to have that, that question on the screen for you to just ask God, what, what is it that you, what's following you look like through this all-in process? Let's, let's spend some time praying together over these. Uh, Matt, I think another great question for us to be able to contemplate today and really reflect on and, and allow the Holy Spirit to begin to reveal to us is, is just this whole idea of complacency, mm -hmm. right? Because so many of us struggle with this. And so, church, today, would you just um, ask the Lord, ask the Holy Spirit to just begin revealing to you wherever you're watching across the screen um, today to just reveal to you uh, an area of your life that you're struggling with in complacency mm -hmm. when it comes to your relationship with God and following after Him. And so we're going to take a few moments and we're going to pray about that as well.
And so, Lord, today, God, we just ask, uh, Father, that this week, Father, that we would follow after you um, harder than we've ever done before. Father, as the psalmist said, Father, would you lead us into that place? And God, in doing so, would you begin to reveal to us those areas of complacency in our own lives? Uh, Father, we want to have that hunger. Father, we want to have that thirst for your presence. And, and Father, in doing so, God, would you lead us uh, to have these areas of complacency revealed in our lives? And Father, as you do so, as your Holy Spirit reveals those, would we just lay those at your feet today? In, in complete obedience, would you just take those things from us? And Father, would you reveal to us a whole new level uh, of fellowship when it comes to pursuing after you? And so today, God, a, as we continue to prepare our hearts, and our minds for what you want to do through this all-in uh, journey that we get to go on together at Battle Creek Church. Church God, will we have uh, the courage just to ask you in these next few moments, God, what is it? God, what is it that you are asking us to do to be a part of this journey of all-in? And God, would you give us the courage to respond? Maybe even this Wednesday night, Father, in Advanced Commitment Night, would you give us the courage to respond as you prompt us with what it is that you want us to be a part of? Father, we love you. And God, we thank you that we get the opportunity to follow after you. We love you, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Man, thank you so much, Pastor. And uh, I'll just, as a reminder, uh, everything is leading up to Wednesday night. Um, our fast will end that night. We'll break that fast together at the Union Performing Arts Center at our Advanced Commitment Night. Uh, be there at 6.30, and uh, it's, it's going to be all campuses together. It's going to be a worship night, which those are like my favorite nights yeah. of the year that we get to be a part of. And uh, child care is provided. And so make plans to be there for Advanced Commitment Night at Union Performing Arts Center at 630. It's uh, going to be fantastic. So guys, thank you for joining us today. Uh, Pastor, thank you so much for your word. And uh, we will see you guys tomorrow, Tuesday, for uh, day two of our week of prayer and fasting.